Hello, Colin. Hello. Hi, Chris. What are we doing today? Today we're cooking uh, the special for Muse um, kit, um, Muse Cafe. Oh. Yes. So um, riding on the coattails of the CNN News. Yeah. So today's okay. special will be the Asam Laksa. The now that sounds very complicated. Very simple, very basic ingredients that uh -huh. we all have in our kitchen. So the first step we're going to do would be um, is to just poach a fish, about five minutes. Um, some flavors of lemongrass, um, the asam kaping, and some dried chilies. Oh, like your, like your bouquet garlic. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely, yes. So this will be poached for about five minutes. Yeah. Um, that's what we need to do. And we're using the stock, right? Rather yes. than just throwing it out. Absolutely, yeah. yes. So the flavors of the fish will be in, in, in the stock, um, and then we we'll take the fish out, we'll flake it, and that will be added later. Can we use canned fish? I suppose you can. Some people do use yeah. uh, canned sardine, um, you know, or even tuna. You know, tuna yeah. um, will work very well as well. Um, and then it's very, very convenient. I think you know, straight out of can into. Yes. I think I remember at the university we used to, long time ago we used to use mackerel in brine. Brine, yes. that works very well. Yeah. Yes. So there are many sort of easier ways of doing this, I suppose. But this is the authentic way. Yeah. What's your earliest memory of? Eating this laksa? Laksa, probably in my six, six, seven years old. This is in, in, in my family, we cook this. Uh, we actually cook two laksa. One is the lemma, le, le which we don't get so often now. And we also make the, our noodles ourselves at home as well. Actually, the, the lemma laksa used to be called the Thai laksa. laksa right? The siam, siamma laksa, we used to right. call it here, yeah, but now we call it the lemma. And then for dessert, we used to make um, Bee Thai Bak as well because it's the same dough that you make the dessert. Oh, it's the same dough for like the that. rice. Multitasking yeah, the so that was, that was the other option. So, so in the stock, we're going to put the rumpa. Yes. So, this is the blended ganga, lemongrass, shallots, red chilies, dry chilies, turmeric. I think it's important to do, use the fresh red chilies and turmeric. It actually gives a very good color to the dish. So you don't, uh, and your tamarind has to be a lighter tone, so you don't end up with a dark. Um, oh, so it's better to use fresh, uh, everything fresh, chilies. Um, but do you add the dried chilies or the color? Color. The red, you just add about three pieces of red chili, just gives it more vibrancy. Can you just um, buy some chili bowl? You can. Put it in Makes here. it easier too. So you add in the, the rumpa inside, and then the tamarind. So tamarind. Um, so and it's sort of soaked in water and reconstituted to get the, the juice. Can you cut a bit of it to give that souring? Everything should be to taste because it's very difficult to give exact recipes, yes. proportions, because you just don't know which batch of um, tamarind paste, you know, how sour that is, yes, right? Yes, absolutely. I've always found that to be the yeah. problem when you follow recipes to the... So it should be done to, you, to your, your to palate. To your taste, yes. To your yes. Palate, so we add in the asam kaping too. Mm. Do you need to do that? Is that essential? Not essential, but it, it just gives it more more sour. Another layer, of another, sour. Yeah. Yeah, it's a different dimension. And then the shrimp paste, the blatter. Right. So now that's available everywhere. Now. everywhere it's a great actually. export from Malaysia. Yes. And lots of flavour with that as well. So two other key flavours that needs to go in would be. No, you need to smash that, I'm told. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> well, just cut to open it up and then it will just right. release. Um, not all the way here, yeah. yeah. just keep it stock so that it still retains. So lots of flavours that you get. Wow, look at that, I love that. Oh, I love this what do you call it? I mean, how to explain the flavour? It's like lemony, right? Yeah, it's very, very aromatic. And then the down kasum, again, good strong flavours as oh, well. Right. Yeah, that, that Aren't you meant well. to tie that up? <laughs> you work it well. Yeah. Okay. So we've got a bit of that to, to go into. Yeah. So, um, some salt, probably. Oh, you've got balachan in there already. So a little bit of salt, a little bit of salt and sugar. Uh, in I think you need to taste it first. Yeah. No, we always put <laughs> it. Yeah. Some salt and, and, and sugar. That will will be added. So then this you need to let this boil for. An hour to hour and a half to let it all cook through. Right, okay. So you just you have to taste it and 
till the Balance rawness strength. of the onions is gone. A rawness of the onions. The onions okay. and lemongrass, you get that raw flavour to begin with, so that needs to be boiled out. Now go on simmer, to bat. Yeah. Let, let this simmer, but I need to sort of like move fast forward a little bit. So this would be a batch that has been boiled um, for an hour and a half. That's wow, the red chili. The red chili and the turmeric. Yeah. yeah, so yeah, I, I, I think it's important. So the add. oil on top, the little film of oil is from the fish, obviously, right? Because you have, I see, didn't see you add any oil to it. No, there's not oil added into right. it. This is just all the natural oils from all the fresh ingredients that you know, we've put oh. into place. Essential oils from lemongrass. Lemongrass, <laughs> yeah, all Okay. This. So we can then add the fish into this once this is boiled up. Um, and then we, we can serve very quickly. Wow. So, but that process of... Oh, you add the fish to that? Like, yes. We oh, you can, we can have that as a garnish. We can it? do as well, but also... Yeah. I think okay. to give a bit more flavour to um, the, the soup base as well. So you add right. part of it and keep some as a garnish on top. I would I would uh, cheat the, it as a garnish completely. But you need the, the, the fish to, be, to, poach, the flavor, yeah, yeah. to to absorb the rumpa into it as well. Uh, just, just that, that. After the, those horrible rumours about what you will add to the stock, I just want my stock to be clear. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is the whole story. Yeah, but the, 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 it's, the thickening is all from the, the rumpa and the fish, so you need that to sort of let, yes. let it thick, thick and slightly. So what are the noodles that's used here? Tell me. So we're using our local laksa noodles. So, um, so it's rice base. Yes. Um, so it's like a like a, a vermicelli. A bit thicker, thicker. than it's a bit thicker than rice. But you can use any noodles, right? Yes. Yeah. Fine vermicelli. Um, even the Thai sort of dried um, rice noodles. And don't you put the garnish on first? Well, I need to warm through. The oh, right, I see. <laughs> I warm through the noodles wow. first. Actually, we take it for granted, it's such a beautiful looking dish, really, isn't it? Yeah, very colourful. Okay. If you want to add the haiko yeah. into it, you can do that. But that's up to you. Sure. Let's have a taste. Please do! <laughs> Where's the thing? And the thing in six. So, we shall continue this series with dishes from our heritage kitchen at the Muse Cafe using classic recipes, cooking without MSG, making recipes simple that we can use for daily use. Um, we hope you enjoy this video and continue watching us.